picture on my mirror Start to blush when somebody says your name In my stomach there's a pain You walk in my direction, I go the other up way I start to stutter when I speak Trying to stand on my knees, go weak What's happening to me? In the dark, can you tell me what it means? I lay my head on my pillow Staring out the window Hey, y'all still here or y'all on the plane yet? Just let me know because I'm outside. Yeah, we just touched down now. So, um, we walking off the plane. Uh, we about to go get our luggage and stuff. So, we'll be down. Just give us a moment because we waiting on Dawn yeah, right now. that's going be taking forever. But, all right, I'm at the bottom. I'm not at the second floor. I'm on the first floor. I'm right on the side. I'm the Black Challenger. I'm just sitting out here waiting on y'all to come <laughs> you outside. crazy, bro. But, yeah, we coming. Oh, look, here she go. Uh, yeah, no, this case it. She said you need to mind your business. Like, she, she can tell you talking like, skits. So, uh, we just waiting on her to get her food. That's where she at. But all right, Dawn. All right. <laughs> I, I'm gonna handle her what you get in the car. But I see y'all when y'all come in. Again, I'm waiting on y'all. Grab me something to eat too because I'm hungry. Oh my god, it feels so good to just be away from where we are. Like, can't y'all believe we out here? trying to support Audrey right now. Like, this is crazy. From what Kaysen told us, it's pretty severe. So, <laughs> hopefully we can try to fix this for nah, real. Nah, for real, because I, y'all know how I get. So, I'm just, you know, hopefully it don't have to be no fighting. I ain't gotta cuss nobody out. Everything should just really be good. Y'all, let's not come with that negativity. I don't think it's gonna be a fight, you guys. I really think that we are here to, for a purpose. We are here to really just you know, get to the bottom of this. And hopefully, Audrey and DeMarcus resolve their issues. I'm really mad that Sabrina couldn't make it with us this time. But her flight said that she was coming a little late. So, we'll have to come back and get oh, her. I'm happy that Sabrina is still coming because I just know my gut feeling is telling me it's about to be some drama. And I need Sabrina on my left hand because I love y'all. But when it comes to me and Sabrina, we're going we to rock the world, okay? We're going to have to show these helpers out here. I know, I'm so happy too, but come on y'all, let's Dawn get her food and then let's go downstairs so we can meet Kaysen because he's been sitting out there for a minute, so come on y'all, let's go. Well, 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 ain't it my favorite baddies in the whole wide world? I'm so glad y'all decided to not only come out here, but y'all decided to move out here? This ain't nothing but God. I'm really happy because, let me tell y'all, Audrey need a job and I need a job because i'm stressed out y'all just don't understand this is uh, a lot it feels so good to be out here case and i appreciate you for picking us up sabrina is going to come a little bit later so we can pick her up after that but come on let's get in the car because it is really oh cold out snap here. sabrina coming too oh yeah it, 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 it's about to be a party out here but okay yeah let's go ahead and get in the car so we can go ahead and go okay case this car is actually nice like hold on let me find this is cute, Kaysen. Where you got this from? You're going to have to take me to go get a car. Ain't Here you go. <laughs> I got this from a very nice place, y'all. I'm going to have to definitely take y'all since y'all are moving out here. Um, I know that uh, Leslie is getting her car shipped out here, so y'all be using her car. But y'all can always use my car. But, yeah, we need to go to Audrey House, like, ASAP. Like, for real, for real, you guys. It's really, really bad. I'm really excited to see Audrey. I haven't seen her in a minute, and I miss my girl from the... You know, to her texting us in the group chat and, like, us doing FaceTime, it just really feels good to actually see my girl face-to-face -face again. Like, yeah, and I see that she excited. changed her hair from blue to red. Kaysen, I feel like you had something to do with this because you know you be laying some hair, so you need to let us know what's going on because... Why she changed know what they hair say about them girls that turn their hair red? It's her rebel season. That's what's going on. Demarcus must have really <laughs> he he got her so bad to where she changing her hair color. It must be that, that bad. Is like I just want to know what's going on. But I know Casey is gonna lay it down for us. Or I mean I don't know what to expect. Like Casey, you really quiet. So I need to know what's going on. Like what are we expecting? What are we walking into right I now? I keep like, telling y'all it's a lot. So. <laughs> With that being said, look, let's go ahead and go to Audrey's house, because I'm going to let her do the talking for y'all. Love was always supposed to be Something wonderful to me To watch it grow inside yourself To feel your heart beside itself Sometimes it hurts to love 
God, is all of this for me? Oh my God. <sighs> like, come on, Demarcus. Um, I'm not for the gifts right now. Like, seriously, I'm not. called and now we're here and we need to see what's going on Audrey because it's I can look at you right now and I can tell <laughs> this is not Miss Samuels man like what's I going really on I can't believe you called them <laughs> I miss y'all so much I'm just really I'm hurt y'all I'm really hurt about this because I really love this man and I know you're not supposed to believe rumors and y'all always used to tell me that in high school, but I don't know, like, I feel like we rushed and, you know, all of this is coming about and I'm just really hurt, like, I'm so glad y'all here, like, seriously, Casey, you didn't have to do this, like, you really didn't, I promise. Audrey, I had to. I mean, the way you came in when you was getting your hair done and... The way you've been acting recently since we found out about this whole baby with Demarcus and Keisha, it's just been really, it's been draining you. I can see it all in your face, baby. Like, seriously, I had to call reinforcements. I had to call some people that you really trust, that you really love. Somebody that's going to lead you into the right direction. So, let's, let's talk. Seriously. I know it's been a minute since y'all seen me so vulnerable like this, but... I guess I am ready to open up, you know. I've been holding some things in, and I just, I do need to talk, so. Let's go outside. I'll start the fire. Come on. Okay, y'all, so the reason why everybody here is because as we can put it into words, um, the Marcus might have had a baby, and from what the age is mm, with that baby, I it looks like that baby I mean, is real. From what y'all was right talking, y'all said the baby is a toddler. That can only mean that he creeped with her recently, but... I mean, I don't even think that Demarcus even looked like that type to even just step out on you. Like, he is exactly. too in love with you, Audrey. Like, I was so telling I really Audrey that. Matter of fact, it. I'm just going to keep it real. I did have a conversation with Demarcus and some of his homeboys, and it just really seems as though that he even don't think that's his baby. Like, he was really stressed out about this, y'all. Like, really, he was, like... Uh, words can't even explain how he was acting like even his homeboys say that like Bob and Jared like they were really against this like even Bob was saying that you know Keisha was scandalous in high school so I really believe this is not his kid but it's just the way she came about it it was just so weird and you know I, I like DeMarcus at one point I didn't like him but he was really cool know, man. I mean I just something feels real fishy about this like uh, I wish Sabrina was here because Sabrina really would have had some more answers to this because y'all know that girl really be in tune with some things. I mean, Audrey, in honesty, how are you feeling right now? I mean, 
You're really quiet, and <laughs> this is not like you, Audrey. This is really bothering me right now because it's like, I don't know. Like, honestly, I need somebody else to speak because I this can't be his baby. This just, it cannot. It cannot be. I just, I need some answers. I need somebody to say something else other than me right now. I mean, Audrey, you got to look at it like this, too. At the end of the day, if you trust this man and you know that this man is not going to do you any harm, and you know he haven't stepped out on you or he haven't did anything to let you, like, think he did something or let you think that, oh... I'm cheating or I'm doing that, then you shouldn't have nothing to worry about. I mean, I feel like this is just a big bit of Miss Mama's imagination. And Keisha is just delusional, point blank, period. Like, I just, I want to see a test before anything because I honestly don't I hear know what everything to that y'all right say in it. Honestly, you guys, I mean, y'all see the gifts that's in the kitchen. Like, <laughs> I mean, he's showering me with gifts. We got the house remodeled. I mean, it's a lot to take in right now because it's like, why are you showering me with gifts now when all of this has blown up? It just makes me kind of look at him a little bit differently because it's like, you, you know, you shower me and you love me unconditionally always. But since this whole thing with Keisha has come out, it's like he's showering me with gifts more. And, you know, he's been moving a little, you know, a little more frantic than anything. And, you know, I just, you know, I just don't know how to feel about all of this right now. I, I mean, yeah. Too, Audrey, but maybe he's just doing all that because right now he knows that you are having second thoughts. So it's like maybe what if he's just doing this to just prove even more that you know he didn't do anything? Like you can't really just wrap your head into this and overthink that something is going on when honestly it's really not. Like I don't know, I really believe Demarcus didn't do anything. But then again, I just really need to see some papers as well because I don't know. I don't know this Keisha girl like that, so I really can't. I say mean, much. she wasn't an issue when you know we really got together. I mean, she came about like what? I mean, we've been together for like what a year or two, and she kind of came about when she when I got really close to um Demarcus's sister and kind of from there she's been kind of you know acting funny y'all know that me and his mama are not the best of friends she doesn't like me and you know I have to accept that like when we had the baby shower she invited Keisha and I mean it was just a real muckus there like I just really didn't understand I know y'all couldn't make it and I'm thankful for the gifts that y'all brought but you know it's just really weird that you know he he was also arguing with her, and, you know, I get it. You want to defend my honor and stuff like that, but I just really, you know, it just was a lot to just deal with at that time, and I just didn't understand. I didn't have no comprehension of anything, and, you know, I'm big and pregnant at the time. Like, I'm just listening, and I'm just really upset. I don't understand why his mother doesn't like me. I don't understand why she's now, you know, Keisha's coming into all of this all of a sudden. It's just a lot. And I wish I could understand, but it's like I would never fully understand. Man, what is going on out here now? Like, Casey, you here? Dawn, I see you. Leslie, how y'all doing? I mean, what's up, Violet? What's going on out here? You supposed to be up in the bed. Like, you out here talking to them? No offense to y'all, but I don't know what's going on. I don't know if y'all have an intervention out here. I don't know what's going on, but you're supposed to be in the bed, period. I don't know what's happening out here, and I hope y'all ain't talking about me, but you're supposed to be in the bed, Audrey. Like, what's going on? Like, what's up? Marcus, it's not nothing like that. Like, seriously, like, we come from a good place with this. It's nothing serious. We're not out here talking about you. We trying to get y'all to get back together. We trying to get y'all to make things work. We're not out here blasting you. We're not out here talking bad about you. We're not talking skits. We're not doing nothing. We are just here to listen. Kaysen called us to come out here, and we were definitely thinking about moving out here anyway. So it's just like, why not come out here and support our friend when she need us? Like, it's nothing going on, Demarcus. Like, literally, you need uh -huh. to calm down. I don't believe that because 
Audrey been walking around this house with her nose stuck up. She been ignoring me. And I'm just like, who is it that you talking to that got you feeling like this? She hasn't been talking to y'all. So, I mean, you might be telling me one thing, but I feel like y'all not telling me the right thing. So, if y'all are here talking about me, y'all need to go ahead and say that. So, y'all can really get on out of here because I don't like okay, the so should have been in the bed You're really doing too earlier. much. <laughs> Leslie already told you that we're not out here talking about you. So, again, why are you out here doing all this yelling and this hollering? You came out here with this animosity. Granted, she should have been up there or not even she should have been. Y'all, I mean, look, I don't know the aspects of what's going on. I'm just here to listen to my friend and see what's going on so we can get y'all back together. But you're not about to come down here and you're not about to disrespect me. So can you keep your tone down to a zero? Because right now you're at a 10. And Demarcus, you really don't want to go there with me. You I'm really, not really going back and forth go with Nanny right y'all here. Like I said, Audrey, you should have been upstairs. You out here entertaining them, telling them whatever you got going on. You should have been upstairs, point blank, period. Ain't no reason to be out here talking about me. If you wanted to talk about me, you could have talked about me to my face. I don't understand what's going on. Like, literally, you just go ahead upstairs and case, and I thought you were supposed to handle this. You called them? You called them out of all people to come handle this, bro? Like, let's be real right now. Like, it's a lot of fuck is going on out here. I don't like that. Like that. Like I said, if y'all wanted to talk about me, y'all could have handled this another direction, bro. And I don't like that. So, what's up? So, what do y'all want to do? Because, like I said, y'all can really get the fuck out of here. Why you out here trying to make a monkey and literally yeah, just go and you better go on like, somewhere that with that, bro. I ain't about go to sit here arguing with any of y'all. Like I said before, and I'm going to say it again. Y'all out here talking about me. Y'all out here like, trying to put her against me. And I'm reality, y'all should really be putting her with me. You feel me? Like, I don't believe that. If you over there bumping your drums, like, come on, Barbara, what you going to do? Like, seriously, I'll get my sister on you, bro. Like, for real, you really stupid. So, what's really going on? Like, what's up? You know, okay, bro. Like y'all really pissing you me off. Like this don't really make no shit. Like, like, like I said, you should have been upstairs. You, you should have been like, taking care of Dante. Dante sleep right now, but at the end of the day, like I said, all of this didn't have to happen. Okay, you really believe in Keisha over some bullshit, bro? That's not my baby. And then you got me out here arguing with your homegirls, bro. Like Violet, I got nothing against you, but you really coming at me crazy. I just wanted to know why my my soon to be wife wasn't upstairs, and you coming at me sideways. I didn't come. Out here no animosity at the end of the day. I mean, if I did, all right, my bad. But look, because I'm just trying to figure lot. out why like, my wife is down no here, my student wife is down here, like, and she not upstairs. And then again, right y'all like down here ganging up on me, bro. Like, come and on, you're doing all and then Casey, you supposed to be my, you supposed to be my sicker too, bro. Like, you supposed to be my sicker too. Like, man, this is hurting me more than this hurts me, huh? And y'all out here yelling at me. Y'all really out here yelling at me, bro. And I really feel some type of way because y'all hollering at me. And y'all don't even know the details of all of this. Y'all don't know Keisha. So for y'all to be coming at me like this, all right, y'all might be helping our at the end of the day. All right, you know what? You're basically cutting up right now. You're cutting up, and I don't even want to hear it. Like, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Like, oh, my God. Like, you're such a crowd. I'm going to go ahead and go to Nikki house, bro. That's crazy. I'm going to find somewhere to go. Because I can't be under these circumstances, bro. Like, I can't. I love you, but I got to go, bro. I can't deal with this no more. I'll, I'll talk to you when I can. Bro, no, like, don't cry, baby. No, I, 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 I know. I know. I can see it. I can see it. It's okay, mama. Oh my god, I cannot believe all this is happening right now. Like, it's like, I can't. I can't. We here. We here, Audrey. I promise you, we here. I love you so fucking much. You know, like, don't. Oh my god. Leslie, Violet. Hey, see y'all, we gonna have to stay. We gonna have yeah, to. We can't leave her like y'all. Like seriously, she needs us more than anything right now. I mean, is this her and Dante here? No, bro. I'm not about to let my. I'm not about to let my best friend. No, Dante. Oh my God, bro. Demarcus should have handled this so differently, bro. This pisses me off. Like, come on, Demarcus. We better yeah, than that, bro. We definitely have to stay, y'all. This is getting serious, like. We're going to have to, how Keisha look? Because <laughs> at this point, I really want to see what's going on and why she has such a big impact on this. Because if he is acting funny like this, I mean, for him to just come to start tripping like he did, I don't know. Now I'm thinking something different. I'm sorry. Y'all know I'm down to stay. At the I end of the day, you know, we here to support Audrey, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I did get a text just now from Sabrina. She's about to be hitting down, so... I mean, somebody need to go ahead and go get her. 
So, I mean, if y'all need to go get her, y'all can. Me and Kaysen will definitely stay here with Audrey and help her out with Dante and help her clean up because, yeah, I mean, I just feel like Audrey needs to rest because this was a lot. So, y'all go ahead and get Sabrina. Me and Kaysen got it from here. All right, brother, talk to me. What's up? I can really tell that you. What, what happened, man? Do you, do you want to go from the beginning? I mean, we could. We could sit here and watch the news all day, but I just really want to know the markets. What's up? Like, I mean. I ain't never really seen you like this. I mean, the last time I really seen you like like this was when, you know, your very first girlfriend broke up with you. And that's what it's looking like. So, come on, bro. What's up? What, what happened, man? To be honest with you, Ricky, I mean, man, I really don't know. I don't know how to feel. I don't know what to feel. Man, I don't know, man. He should have really barked up a lot, man. And... You know that I haven't talked to that girl in forever. And then for her to just really come out the woodworks with this clown stuff, man. And then it's like my mama is like still cool with her. And it's man, it's a lot, bro. Like I'm I feel like I'm just I'm I'm everywhere at this point. And I just really don't want to lose Audrey, bro. You're like, not gonna I lose really that girl. Let me tell you, bro. if it's meant for you, it's meant for you. God always puts it to where if something is meant for you, he gonna make sure it's meant for you. If it ain't meant for you, God gonna take it out of the equation. You know me and you always have these God talks, man. And, you know, I might be a hood sicker, don't get me wrong, but, you know, I let God do the talking for me all the time. And, I mean, you just never know, man. <sighs> Bro, I really don't know how to feel about this one, man, because, I mean, I really, like, I really, I always been rooting for you, period, but... You've been really happy with this girl. And I, you know, just to see Keisha really come in the mix, like, you, you, you already know how Keisha is, bro. I mean, exactly, you know, that's just crazy, brother, man. Like, you for know real. how Keisha is, bro. Everybody know how Keisha get down in the hood. So it's just like, come on. She been like this since high school, bro. Like, bro, man. She seen Keisha. I ain't gonna lie. Keisha seen me at my worst. And now she sees me at my best, and it's just like she really trying to sabotage it. Like, come on now. Like, I don't like this at all, Ricky. Like, brother, this one really hurt me because I really love Audrey, bro. I really do. Like, I want that girl to be my wife. You just don't Look, Stop stressing about it, all right? <laughs> you over here. We going to have a good time. And just stop worrying about all of that, all right? Stop stressing. It's gonna all work out, and if it don't, I mean, shoot, they are, they got plenty of fish in the sea. Audrey is not the only one. I mean, that's just gonna be your baby mama. But go ahead and get yourself comfortable. I'm gonna make some more food. Mm -hmm. Man, I hope this is only temporary, bro, because I don't think I could do this any longer. <laughs> man, I miss my girlfriend, bro. This is wild, man. Violet was gonna go off on that man like she did, Leslie. I cannot believe this. Violet haven't act like this since high school. So for Demarcus to bring that out, oh my god, oh my god, like I am really losing my freaking mind. Um, <sighs> I'm glad she didn't come pick Sabrina up, and we did because if she would have, she would have found out where he was at, and she would have pulled up on him. But let Sabrina know that we outside and that we are ready for her. So whenever she's ready to come down. We are definitely ready because we need to get back to the house ASAP because it is a lot going on and we need to make sure that our friend is okay because, oh my God, today was crazy. Miss Mamas, you have missed so much. I'm so glad that you are in the car. I'm so glad that you are just here. I hope your flight was good. You look good on top of that, okay? This orange is giving, you giving, like... 
<laughs> enough talking, enough talking, but we need to go ahead and go because we need to go ahead and get home because Violet was on 10 when we left and Violet is still on 10, so we definitely need to go. Thank you so much, Sabrina, for coming out and helping us with this because we really, 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 really needed help with this, so come on, ladies. Let's go ahead and go back to the house like right now. Please promise me oh, if you knew what I've been through. You will let me not be you So if you's the can't explain Never thought I'd fall in love again Feel so right Something I've been missing all my life Say you won't do me wrong Listen to the words I sing in this song up you guys and we'll go back to the channel if you're new hi hello of course oh not of course of course my name is chunky the gamer or you can call me jay whatever you're feeling today but if y'all og bobby joshua what's up my chunky babies and well come back y'all welcome back welcome back to brown sugar bay come on see it with me i want some of your brown sugar hold on uh-huh Come on, sing it with me. I want some of your brown sugar. Hey, hold on. Uh, la, 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 la. <laughs> I want some of your brown sugar. <laughs> Welcome back to brown sugar, you guys. Um, as y'all can see in the machinima earlier, it's a lot going on. <laughs> Let's just start off by saying that it is a lot going on. Um, as you can tell, Demarcus is no longer in the house. Demarcus has actually left the building, y'all. Demarcus took a stage left. He's gone. <laughs> um, it's a lot. I honestly feel as though that it was just a miscommunication and he just been like, I feel like Demarcus just has really been in his feelings regarding of this. And Audrey has been in her feelings too. And like her friends were saying, like they were out there literally helping her to, you know, talk her into going into counseling and, you know, making like letting her know, like, you know, stop worrying about this. Demarcus loves you. And it just seems as though he took it as of somebody is basically was like trying to bash him. And that's not the case. I mean, I just really feel bad that Demarcus, you know, is feeling like this granted, but I just feel as though that he should have handled it in a different situation than this because now her friends is looking at you and they feel some type of way. And Kaysen was the, you know, Kaysen been going for bad for you, you feel me? But now it's, 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 it's not looking too good. It's not, it's not looking good at all. It's just like, it's craziness. So I'm letting y'all also know, um, I did clean out my entire mods folder. So if y'all see some Sims walking around or y'all just see something and it looks out of the ordinary, I cleaned some stuff. It was like, I had to keep going back and forth and out because it was like, I was forgetting stuff and I'm like, freak, I gotta push this out. Freak, I gotta push this out. But, oh, <laughs> but we are here, you guys. Um, <laughs> it, it, it took a lot. It took a lot. It took a lot. But without further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and get into this LP. So, if y'all can see, hold on, let me put the walls up. Because I've been trying to like, what the heck? So, this is their brand new, well, this was the home they were staying in. But they're still staying in. But this is their home, you guys. This was created by none other than Rihanna Sims, a.k.a. my Tebe. Well, our Tebe, because Simply calls her that too. A.k.a. my baby Yoda. Like, this was made by Rihanna Sims. I would definitely put her Patreon in the description below. So, y'all can definitely go check out her builds because she will be building for the this new expansion pack that's coming out as well and she would just build if y'all just ask her like you know make a request you know support the girl and make a request so as y'all can see from the beginning of the machinima as well um 
there was a red truck outside. Well, as y'all know, this is the official that Demarcus is not here anymore. So this is this is where we are. <laughs> He's gone, and as y'all can see, he's at his homeboy house, which we will be going over there to go just check on him to make sure he's good, too. Um, it's, it's a lot, y'all. It is a lot. But I just want to give y'all this tour real quick. So this is the house. Of course, y'all know who made this house, Miss Barbie Sims herself. Um, but this is their house. That's Kaysen's car where he picked up the girls. This is actually Audrey's car. And this is one of the ladies' car, which y'all are going to meet. This is actually Miss Dawn's car, which y'all are going to meet very soon. So let's go ahead and get into this beautiful home. Y'all, it is beautiful in the inside. Um, I haven't put nothing else out here because I have forgot. But I'm definitely going to put some chairs and stuff out here just to kind of give that feel. So when you first walk in, you guys, um, uh, y'all, she gave this house to me empty. I told her. I asked her if she could make me a house for Audrey and Demarcus because Demarcus came from Tay. And, I, you know, I had Audrey. And she was like, sure. So she made the house and it was empty. And I was like, oh, shoot. That mean I got to decorate. But, you know, here we are. So this is what you see when you first walk in. As you could tell when you were, uh, when Audrey was talking to the uh, her crew, they were standing right here. Um, if you go turn this way, you guys, yes, this is my favorite part of the house. Again, I decorated all of the inside. The bathrooms were actually, I never, I didn't touch the bathrooms. When I say Tay did her thing, she did her thing. Um, what I was about to say. Oh, uh, this is the, um, office slash little study area. She has, uh, they have their books and stuff right here. They have the computer, um, cause you know, Audrey is currently trying to be a writer. So she's going to be writing some things and making books and stuff. She has a book out right now, but, um, we're going to definitely be focusing on that. And then these are just some paintings on the wall. And then if you go in here, um, this is the living room. I'm still working on some things just to put some stuff on the shelves, but, uh, this is the living room area. This is my favorite part. I love this. Like, Tay did her thing. Oh, my God. Between Tay and Giselle, I just, oof, I love it, okay? And then this is um just a little area with some um African decor on here. Then that is for their lovely baby, Dante, which y'all seen in the new intro. He is past newborn now. He is a infant, y'all. So, yes, y'all definitely going to be seeing him again. Uh, this is the um, dining area. They got some pads right there because, baby, they are cramping. And as y'all can see right here, Demarcus went all out for Miss Mamas, a.k.a. Audrey. She's definitely going to be taking this down and going and put it up in her closet. But this is the stuff that he bought for her, of course. Um, this is the kitchen, you guys. It is a wraparound. Y'all know we got to do a wraparound. This is a wraparound. Dawn actually made breakfast, which is some grits with bacon and some toast with jelly. Um, I have some alcohol right here with some Reese's Pieces. And then this is like a little coat closet, which I really like this right here a lot. And then also we have the pantry, you guys. I'm still trying to fill up the pantry. But um, this is just some of the stuff that is currently up in here. It's going to be more by the time I film this again. Um, when you go up in here, this is actually a guest bedroom because it's a lot of people up in here, y'all. Um, the girls got their stuff and they basically, um, I, we, we honestly don't know how long they're going to be here. They're going to be looking for their own places granted, but now that Demarcus is not in here, they couldn't leave her by herself. They could not leave Audrey by herself. So this is a bedroom right here. We actually have one of the girls sleep. I don't know who this is, but um, I want to say, I don't remember who that was, but she sleep. And then after that, once you get out of here, um, this is just how this is looking downstairs. And this is the outside, you guys. This is my favorite part. Uh, I love the pool. This is for Dante. And this is where they were sitting when they were outside talking, y'all. 
I love this part. And then that's just a grill. And then it's just, just a little bar. So if they want to come outside and, you know, get some drinks, they definitely can. And so now you guys, let's go upstairs because upstairs is my favorite part. So I'm going to, ooh, hello. Okay. I'm going to see y'all once we go upstairs. Okay. Now that we are upstairs. So when you get from the stairs, oh Jesus. So when you get from the stairs, um, this is just some pictures right here. And that's a picture right there, of course, that is so pretty. And then we have one right here. But when you wrap around, this is how it's looking up here. Let me do a whole 360. Yes, y'all, I did decorate this. I will start, I will start doing um empty shell homes and decorating them and putting them on Patreon. So definitely if y'all see something y'all like, for sure, go ahead and grab that. Um, and also let me start from what the heck? Oh, let me start from over here. Um, this is a guest room right here. Uh, this is where Kaysen and then Violet is, which y'all would definitely, y'all know who Kaysen is, but y'all definitely will be meeting Violet. And then this is just their closet right here. Um, this is just, again, some stuff for them temporarily. So they have their stuff in here. And then this is actually going to be Dante's room, you guys. Dante's room is the cutest to me. Um, it has his DW because he's a, his name, of course, is Dante Williams. Um, and look at him, y'all. Look at him. Y'all, the intentions were not for him. I didn't think I was going to make him look like his dad, but I messed around and did. But that's Dante. He has his diaper bag, his... Um, toy chest and just some dolls and stuff up in here and yeah we're in the process of teaching him how to uh how to crawl right now so that's what's going on and then this should be the bedroom so yes this is audrey's and demarcus's bedroom uh they do have some uh guns on the wall and then when you go up in here they have like the purses some shoes um stuff like that and then they have another fireplace right here and this is actually where Audrey is sleeping, you guys. As y'all can see, Audrey does look a tad bit different. I just um gave her a tint on her um skin. Uh, this is just where this is just a picture of them up there, and then this is a mirror, and then oh they got clothes in there already. And then when you come up in here, this is going to be um the bathroom, y'all. I didn't do much up in here. I did put some things up here, but other than that, I just put like you know like the q-tips and stuff but this bathroom came already beautiful okay and then last but not least i don't know what's going on with this because i see lines and crap and then last but not least this is just a hall bathroom nothing too spectacular but it's beautiful okay this is just the hall bathroom and that you guys that is the end of this tour because i really really love this house this house is so beautiful again shout out to rihanna sims aka tay for making this oh i forgot this is um this is demarcus's car um he left his lambo in the garage like he wasn't taking it with him of course but you know it is what it is with that. But let's go ahead and get into this LP. So, oh, I forgot to introduce y'all to the ladies. So, let me introduce y'all to her friends. These are her friends, you guys, that we were talking about last episode that's going to be coming down to basically help her get it together. Now, they definitely have to step in because they, you know... They were just going to come down here to just speak with her. And then, you know, they were going to just, you know, find a place to stay and just, you know, keep eyes on her. But now they had officially moved in the house until further notice. So this right here is Leslie McCullum. McCullum? Oh, my God. This, she actually came from no other than Miss Rihanna Sims. This is her baby. This is Don Clark. Don Clark came from Miss Giselle Sims, of course. And then we also have Violet is asleep. So I can't really introduce you to her because she is knocked out. But Miss Violet did come from well, y'all seen her in the um machinima. Violet came from none other than Miss Pisa Posey. So yes, this is her baby as well. Y'all know uh, Pisa Posey be having them hitters coming in, okay? So this is Violet. 
And y'all know who Kaysen is, of course. And then last but not least, I bet y'all wondering, so who is that lady that they picked up from the uh, airport? This is Sabrina. Sabrina is a, another friend, well, another close friend that is coming down to basically set some things straight and get Audrey on the pad too. They had to, they had to call reinforcements, y'all. They really had to. And she is made from none other than simply wife, okay? Oh my God, like, it's so much going on in here, y'all. But... This is, this is, this is what's going on. So, they have really been a big help. I'm not even gonna lie to you. They have really been, like, helping her with Dante, keeping the house clean, you know, and, and, you know, I said that, and you see what just happened, right? But they have been keeping the house clean, you know, basically making sure that Audrey is okay. Um, they really want to get her out the house, though, because it's just, like, you know, we've been dealing with this, you know, we just want to make sure that you're good, we want to make sure that you're straight, like, they just really feel some type of way, because it's just the principle of the fact that, okay, Violet is up now, what the heck, so yeah, this is Violet, you guys, <laughs> I, I had to make sure y'all can see her, but this is Violet right there, okay, she is, of course, made by Peace Out Posey, um, I just had to say that again, because y'all couldn't see her, so, I wanted y'all to get, like, a full image of her. And then whenever uh, Sabrina wakes up, y'all definitely can see her as well. But they've been making sure that they are keeping Audrey just calm. Because it's a lot going on. You feel me? So, Dawn is just like, what are we going to do today? She's like, I honestly don't know. Like, what do you want to do? She's like, Leslie, seriously, we need to get Audrey out of the house. Like, she's been cooped up in here since, you know... Since Demarcus left, she's like, no, trust me, I know. Up? Look, she's like, yeah, we need to celebrate someday, some way, somehow. She's like, okay, so how are we going to do that? She's like, I don't know. I heard they got some good clubs out here, but we can always ask Demarcus. Like, we just need to make sure we get her out. She's like, okay, well, we definitely need to call a babysitter or something like that. A nanny needs to come. She's just like, oh, no, for sure. We definitely need to call a nanny. So... Dawn and Leslie are just trying to make some plans just to get her out the house to make her sure she get comfortable. Look, that's all they do. They clean, okay? One thing about them, they gonna come up here and they gonna clean their ass off, okay? So, I'm actually... Who is this? Oh, okay. So, I'm actually gonna get her to come sit down here and watch a movie just to kind of get herself together. And then... What are you doing? No. See, look, they just want to clean. That's... They've been making sure this house is spotless and everything. So, I'm going to just go ahead and get them to eat. I don't know why my game is acting so wonky. After all that cleaning up I did I in here. And I, it's still acting crazy. Oh, casing up. So, let's just like, okay, so we trying to get Audrey out the house. So, what's up? So, Audrey's like, y'all trying to do what? She's like, we just trying to get you out the house, man. She's like... What do y'all want to do? Because I don't know if I'm feeling it. So, Leslie's like, we're going to figure it out. You just go downstairs. You go get you something to eat. Like, me and me, Casey and Dawn, we're trying to figure it out so you can, you know, have a good time. So, Audrey's just like, at this point, okay, whatever. Like, I'm not tripping on it. Like, it is what it is. So, he's just like, okay, so go downstairs. Go get yourself together. I told you we good. She's like, you ain't got to dismiss me like that. She, she like, yeah, y'all ain't had to do that. Leslie like, well, we did. So she's like, okay, so what can we do? Kaysen's like, okay, so they got this club that is downtown in San Marcelo that we could definitely go and hang out at. Like, you know, I don't want to, you know, I don't always want to bump into nobody, but, you know, I think she's going to have a good time if we go out. So Leslie's like, okay, so let's make those plans. I'll definitely text the other girls and let them know what we're going to be doing. And everybody needs to step out and, you know, turn up. Like, we definitely need to get her out of this funk or we could just go anywhere. He said, yeah, for sure, we could definitely do that. So... She's about to get herself together. She's actually going to uh, take a bubble bath. Oh, he's cranky. Oh, God. Okay. So, let me get his uh, let me get his godfather to come up in here because he mad. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Hold on. 
Hold on, hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, Violet came up in here. Oh, never mind, Violet was like, nope, that's not my problem. Okay, hold on, hold up, hold up. Um. Oh, he really can't pick him up. Are you going back to sleep? Okay, it has to be somebody he really farks with right now. Why we can't get him up? Okay. Can we get him? Get the baby. Oh, pick him up. Okay, there we go. Oh, Audrey's like, you good. She's like, no, I got him. You go get yourself together. I'm about to go put him down to get him something to eat. Matter of fact, I'm about to just play with him. Oh, look. She about to go put him down. Oh, God. Not put him down right there. Please. Okay, so we're going to put him right here. And she's going to do some tummy time with him. Like, they they love spending time with him. Oh, okay. Never mind, then. Audrey's just like, I told y'all I got it. Like, y'all are really doing the most. Like, y'all don't have to do that. She's like, no, it's okay. Like, seriously, she's like, no. I keep telling y'all it's good. Like, I have it. Like, you know, this is just a... This is just a... It's not a bad thing going on between him and her. But this is just kind of like a... It's a pause right now because we honestly don't know what's going on. We don't really just know what to do. And, you know, it's just like, how do we, you know, how do we go about these things? Why would you leave him on the floor? Oh, my God. Oh, okay. So, this is, I'm going to get a good picture of her or something. Why would you leave him there? Go pick him up. Y'all, she has really, like, been on some... I don't, y'all, I don't know. Ever since DeMarcus left, she has not been herself. Like, she has really been on some other stuff, okay? She's she's really been on some other skits, and it's, it's, it's really sad. So, <sighs> he's just like, okay, so I talked with Leslie. We're going to go ahead and go to a club down here. And so, oh, there we go. That's Sabrina. So, Sabrina's like, hold on, where we going? He like, yeah, we going out tonight. Like, we're going out a little bit later. So, make sure you put on your best dress, and we're just going to go out and turn up. She's just like, okay, cool. So, do she got a babysitter? He like, look, I don't know, but hopefully. Oh, she's giving him a bath. Uh, Okay, cool. So, she got him. So, you know, DeMarcus is just like, I don't know. Not DeMarcus. Ooh, baby. Not DeMarcus. Kaysen. Uh, please. I might have been saying K uh, DeMarcus this whole time, but I've been talking about Kaysen. So, Kaysen is just like, I don't know for sure. Like, um, she should get one. Like, nobody want to stay home because I really want her to have a good time with all of us. And Sabrina's just like, yeah, for sure. Like, I could see if I call somebody and we could get them to come over and watch Dante while we gone. And he's just like, yo, or she, you know, Dante could go to his grandmother's house. She's like, yeah, that too. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I just honestly feel like as though that maybe Dante doesn't need to currently be here as of right now. Maybe because, you know, Audrey's going through it. You feel me? Like, Audrey doesn't, Audrey's not really feeling a lot of stuff right now you feel me so it's just like she has a i'm not gonna say she has a one track mind but she's all over the place you feel me like she is trying to be strong for her baby and she's trying to have a positive mindset about all of this but it's just like dang bro like i for real cannot believe this is really happening Hey, Audrey's me, Megan. Whoa, no. Hold on, Audrey. Let me see something. Girl, they don't even have a relationship like that. Like, what is you talking about? Like, what? I hope you feeding him. Oh, he's so cute. He's so freaking cute in his little outfit, please. Okay, so, oh my God. I just, I don't know. I just, yeah, I don't know. The sexual tension is, like, really crazy up in here. And I just Ooh. don't under-freaking-stand. Like, leave each other alone. So, everybody's going to get themselves together. I'm actually going to get Sabrina to call a um a nanny over here. Just for them to kind of, like, um, well, matter of fact, 
Audrey can call um her mom and see if he can be over there for a little bit. Just until, you know, she get herself together. But then again, she can't be without her baby, y'all. So I don't think he'll be. He's not going to go over there until he probably become a toddler. So we just going to call a, a babysitter. Yeah, we just going to call a babysitter because I just, I don't know. I just, I, I'm not ready for him to go anywhere right now. Uh, I don't think that's, I don't think I'm ready, so. Because I was going to be like, yeah, we're going to call a babysitter. Da, 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 da. Because it said, look, spend a weekend. No, I'm just, I'm not ready for that. So, we're going to call a service. And, oh, let me see. Where is the freaking service? Um, And, yeah, it might be in my face. Oh, here you go. Um. We're going to hire service, and then we're going to hire a nanny. So, yeah, she's going to call the nanny, and she's just going to be on some. Um, yeah, I just wanted to know if, you know, is there any possible way that you can come and watch the baby? Okay, yes, the nanny will be here in, oh, in a couple minutes. Okay, cool. So, oh, look at him. Talking smack. You need a nap. Yeah, take you, take you a nap right there. Please. Oh, he, okay. He's trying to go night-night. Cool. Okay. Oh. What? Who? Somebody pooped? Oh, it's trash right there. I'm like, what is going on? Okay, we'll pick that up. I'm like, what is happening? Okay, so who is this? Oh, well, come on in, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, so the nanny is here, you guys. And it is like 5.40 p.m. And everybody needs to get themselves together, okay? Because we about to go turn up. So, let me get them together so we can go outside and, like, really have a good time. Because what is the issue in this particular area? Is it dirty? I don't know. Anyways, so let me get them together so they can go outside and have a good time because as y'all can see in the um in the beginning, Audrey is not blue anymore. She's red. She's red. And y'all know what they say about when, when a woman makes her hair red. Hmm. Y'all know what time it is. But let me go ahead and get everybody together, you guys. And then I'm going to see y'all once they go outside. Okay, y'all. So we are outside, you guys. So, ooh. Baby. Child. So we are outside, you guys. We are at this uh, club that is actually right next door um, to where the girls had uh, had dinner at for the Bad Girls Club. Casey did find out about this, and he was like, yeah, we need to go out. And y'all, let me tell y'all, the girls look good, okay? The girls look real. Look at them. look Y'all, they look good. They look good as the FARC, Okay. So, let's go ahead and get in here, y'all. Like, seriously, where's the DJ? Oh, the DJ lit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at them. They about to come up in here. Look at Cortez. Look at Decor. Decor ain't got no hair on. Y'all, I told y'all, if y'all see some things that are mysterious, I, I just, I gotta fix them, y'all. So, Decor don't have no hair. So, just leave it alone, child, because she don't have no hair at all. But look at them. Yeah, this club is lit, okay? This club is lit as I don't know what. Wait, what happened? Look, so Leslie is over here talking to Sabrina. She's just like, I'm so glad you are here. Like, seriously, we needed you to come down because I just feel like it's going to be some, it's going to be some crap. She's like, oh, trust me, I know it is. She's just like, I don't know, it's just something feels weird about all of this that's going on. Like, I feel like I didn't heard this story before from somebody or I didn't heard about the, the chick. She's like, what do you mean you heard about the chick? She's like, I think I know who, who what's the girl name? She's like, first of all, her name's Keisha. She's like, okay, I feel like I heard about this. She's like, girl, you think? She's like, yeah, I promise you, but... I don't know. I don't want to talk about it right now. Casey's like, what? What happened? She's like, to be honest with you, 
I think I know Keisha's sister. And so he's just like, wait, what do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. what do you mean you know her sister? She's like, no, 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 no. I don't know her in like that way. Like, oh, we cool. Da, 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 da. I know her from like, okay, not her sister, but you remember that stud that used to go to school with us? And he's just like, yeah, I remember that stud. She's like, okay, so remember how like the stud was like trying to talk to me when we was in school and everything. And it was just that whole shebang shabat. He like, yeah, I remember that. She's like, remember that girl I fought behind her? He's like, yeah. She's like, yeah, that's Keisha's sister. Ain't her name like Latasha or something? And Kason's like, Stitch, that's who you fought in high school? She's like, yeah, that's her sister. Y'all don't remember that? So Leslie's like, I remember kind of, sort of, but I don't remember that. Case is like, nah, that is not Latasha's sister. She's like, I'm so serious that is Latasha's sister. Like, I remember her talking about her big sister, Key, but I want to say this might be Key. This might be Keisha. He's like, nah, that's wow. She's like, yeah, I've been, I know who that is. Case is like, nah, that's crazy. So, Dawn is over here talking to. Of course, Violet and Violet's just like, oh, this girl just pulled up on Violet. Look how she's looking. She's like, mm. look at him. They making sure she's good. Where's um, where's Audrey? Oh yeah, Audrey is like really having a good time. Audrey's in her own little world, y'all. I'm about to get somebody to come check on her because it's like she wants to have a good time, but. She honestly has a lot on her mind, okay? She has a lot on her mind. So, Leslie's like, okay, we got to tell you something, Dawn. So, Dawn's like, well, please don't tell me nothing crazy. She's like, okay, so remember that girl that um, Sabrina fought in school a long time ago? She's like, yeah, wasn't her name like Letitia? She's like, no, her name was Latasha, remember? She's like, no, I kind of... When did I get this dancing animation? Hello? When did I get this dancing animation? Um. Whoa! I'm so confused. Because when did I get this dancing animation? I got about 30 dance animations mixed up. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh! Oh, okay, okay, that's the Steven Studio one. So, uh, he got an updated one I need to download. So, anyways, Kason's like, look, she's taking too long, but to make a long story short, oh, there she go right there. She's like, so, you know, Sabrina fought Latasha. She's like, I thought her name was Latisha. And Sabrina's like, no, her name is not Latisha, but you know who I'm talking about, right? She's like, yeah, she's like, did you know that was, um... That she's related to Keisha. And Dawn's like, uh, what? She's like, yeah, y'all don't remember that girl I fought in high school. She's like, I remember her, but I didn't think that would be her sister. She's like, yeah, that's her sister. Like, whoa. They in here throwing it. Hello? What is happening? I am so confused. But they throwing it. Okay, I can't even be mad at how they throwing it, okay? But, you know, it's just... <laughs> she's shocked to hear that. She's like, nah, that's not the girl. Really, Sabrina? She's like, no, I'm serious, Dawn. That's her. Dawn's like, oh, my God. If... Okay, so we need to find out what's going on. Do you, like, have any contact with her? She's like, no, I don't have any contact with her. Like, me and the girl wasn't even cool in school, like, talking about... Remember, we got into a fight. She's like... Ugh, look her face is mad. She's like, okay, so what about the stud? Like, do you still talk to her? She's like, no, I don't talk to that stud anymore. Like, seriously? I don't even talk to her. I wish I did talk to the stud, but, you know, she kind of left me alone. And so Kason's like, you act like you can't even tell the rest of the story. She's like, my bad. I had to go use the restroom. She's like, but I end up telling her. She's like, that's crazy. She's like, first of all, we need to figure out who... If that baby is really Demarcus's or not. 
And Kason's like, yeah, we definitely need to because when I had a conversation with him when we went out, he was really upset about this, y'all. Like, seriously, like, he don't want to lose. Like, he don't want to lose Audrey. Like, seriously, he really don't. Where is she? Y'all. Y'all. Oh, my God. I'm about to I'm about to have somebody come check on her because she really in here tripping. Oh my god, please. What's wrong? I'm so confused. Yeah, come come check on her because she is in here like really in her feelings. So Sabrina's just like, Yeah, I'm about to go look for Audrey because I don't know where she is. So they're talking about how they can figure out what to do about this. And Sabrina's just coming up here to talk to her friend. She's just like, are you okay? She's like, I'm all right. She's like, it don't seem like you all right. Because you up in here in the mirror. You're not outside having a good time. Like, seriously, Audrey, what's going on? She's like, to be honest with you, I just, you know. I miss my, I miss my boo. I do. I miss the Marcus. She's like, I know you miss him, but you can't, you know, you can't be up in here beating yourself up. You need to have a good time. She's like, I know Sabrina and I appreciate you so much for coming down to help with this, but I just really feel some type of way. Like, I don't know how to feel about all of this. She's like, I really just want to wrap myself in the covers. She's just like, you can't do that though, Audrey. Like, seriously, you really have to, you know, get yourself together, mama. It's like, you got this. Like, it's good. You're fine. Like, y'all gonna be good. That's not his baby. Like, please, calm down. Like, give me a hug. She's like, okay, I'll give you a hug. She's like, no, seriously, hug me and hug me like you seriously mean it. Like, I'm so serious, Audrey. Like, go out there and have a good time. Stop sitting up in here moping. And just, you know, go have a good time. I know you want to go home to the baby, but let's have a good freaking time. Go on the dance floor now. She's like, Ugh. okay wow so she's just like all right i'm about to go enjoy myself i'm about to go dance i'm about to do all of that so she's about to you know do a little dancey dance i really prefer her to dance over here um this is where the party is yeah come dance right here because i really want you to have a good time y'all look at his mom it's like she's being weird here all of a sudden like Nia, you cutting up out here, all right? You cutting up. Hey, 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 hey. All right, there we go. They having a good time. Okay. Hey, y'all, Nia is parking it up. Stop freaking playing. Okay, yeah. They parking it up. Look, even Archie just like, hold on. You, 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 you backing it up. Hold up. Okay. Now, everybody else is tired, but for the most part, everybody, <laughs> they are worn out, y'all. They are tired. They're just like, yeah, we didn't have a very funky good time. Like, seriously, we, uh-oh, there go Audrey. I'm sorry, who's doing it? Are you freaking kidding me right now? Out of all the people to be doing it, Corey, please. What are they? Oh, he got her spreaded like an eagle. I am, truth is, I'm tired. My options are few at this point. Look at him. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Wait a minute. Okay. They really turning up. Hey, hold up, hold up. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> She's just like, okay, so are we about to leave soon? Because I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm tired, like, come on, y'all. So, it is like 4 o'clock in the morning, and they didn't have a good time, but I think it's time for everybody to go home. Kind of just get, you know, she just, she wanted to go out and have a good time. Well, they wanted to get her out and have a good time, and this was actually a good thing they did. I'm really happy that they did this. This was this was well needed. She needed to go and have herself a good funky time. So Audrey's about to go back home to her baby. Everybody else about to go back to the crib. And I'm actually going to see you guys. Where's Dawn? 
Oh, Don left. Okay. Well, I'm actually going to see you guys once all of them fully get home. Okay, y'all. So, we have made it back to the house. And it seems like Dante did have a good time, y'all. But, um, everybody's sleepy. Everybody's tired. Um, Audrey's actually about to come up in here and get her baby settled in together. Because, um, he kind of, look, everybody is so tired. They're like, oh, my God. Kason's actually about to come in here and whip something up because, oh, oh, my God. I about to say, oh, have mercy on my entire soul. I was about to bust out crying because, no. So, let me see. What can we cook at this time for everybody to eat? Um, I picked Southern food, so I didn't cook. I didn't think about doing breakfast or anything. I went straight to the Southern, huh? <laughs> Why would I do that? But we're going to go ahead and make some fried green tomatoes because they are a little drunk. Everybody, yeah, they mentally relaxed, but at the same time, they're just a little drunk. They're a little tipsy. So it's just like we come in, we, you know, we tired, but we want to go lay down. So who took the baby? Oh, okay. No, come get your baby together. You need to come get him together. Ma'am, you can actually be dismissed. Thank you so much. Hold on. Where is she going? Miss Mama's. No. And see, this is why you're leaving. Thank you. Come dismiss her. Come dismiss her, Audrey. Y'all can tell Audrey is not in a good place. She's just like, mm-mm. Okay. So, she's on her period as well. Come on. Come open this. Unpack. And you need to go figure that out. So... Okay, she already paid her $70. And then you need to come and use that. And then you need to go ahead and use that. But Audrey's about to go ahead and take care of her baby because she's tired again. You feel me? Like, they just came in from having a good old time. Let me see. Let me bottle feed you. Look at him. Look at her. They love him so much. Oh, he's going to sleep. Oh, no, he's up. Okay, cool. So, come on, y'all. Oh, Kaysen, you're the goat. Can we not eat it? Oh, my God. He made this food, and we cannot even eat it. Is it is there for freaking decoration? Oh, no. My game's tripping. That means I'm getting the last exception. Okay, hold on, y'all. Let me save real quick. Okay, y'all, I'm slow. I thought I was on an actual human, and I was not. I was actually on a baby that couldn't go and get his own food. Like, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me, you ask? I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just a little dirt -dir 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 -dir. So, let me get everybody up because, y'all, they are hungry. They're starving. The only person that has some common sense to eat is definitely <laughs> Violet. She's just like, yeah, um, I'm not about to sit in here and starve. But she's like, look, what I can do is I can go ahead and clean up around here. And I can go ahead and get Dante put up because I know that, you know, Audrey is tired. So, let me go ahead and at least get him together because she is like everybody's sleepy so i'm gonna get her to bottle feed him when she's done she didn't already put her oh no she didn't put her dish up okay hold up there we go okay look they eating good stuff so what are you sniffing oh okay was that like a snack or something go get you another one so you could be fat and full thank you so much <laughs> Look, Dawn is just like, all right, whoever made this, this is Mac, because this is good. Case is like, I made these. So, yeah, of course they're going to smack because I could cook. She like, whatever. I'm just, I'm tired. <laughs> That's why I said that. Yeah, Violet is not. Oh, he went to sleep. Oh, he ate and everything, y'all. He was not. I hate when this happens. He went to sleep. So, I guess he's just going to sleep right there. We ain't gonna disturb him. We're gonna leave him down there. And if if he start crying or anything, uh, they got the ladies that's downstairs that'll, you know, be like, hold on, let me go get him. So, yeah, it's good. So, let me go ahead and get them to sleep, you guys, because, again, they are, they're worn out, okay? They had them a good, jolly time. 
And shout out to Sabrina because Sabrina actually went up in there and made sure she was good. Like, of course, everybody else was trying to have a good time. But, you know, they she made sure that Audrey was okay because Audrey was not being herself. Like, Audrey was really, like, all over the place. Audrey wasn't feeling it. You could tell she wasn't feeling it. So, it was just like, mm, we don't like that. We need you to turn up. So, I'm about to get everybody to go to sleep and get themselves together oh she like nah i'm gonna come down here and take a nap now nah, baby come up in here come get some more of this and then you could definitely go up there and go to sleep like they are so freaking tired I, look miss mama's like i'm about to take a nap but no i'm actually gonna get her to just fully go to sleep so yeah everybody's gonna fully 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 go to sleep eat sabrina there we go okay Casey, y'all, he is worn out. Like, yeah, you could you could tell they had a jolly good old time. So let me actually put this. I'm gonna get one of the girls to put it up. It's cool. Let me go ahead and get you to go to sleep because I can tell you tired. She's tired as fuck. Are you going to? Okay, she going to sleep. Sleep like she like forget this. Um, work from home. I'm gonna get her to work from home because. Oh, she has to watch four hours of TV and get expired. Okay, cool. So, yeah, she's going to work from home. She's too tired to go to work. She's like, mm -mm, I'm not feeling it. I need to go to sleep. Like, we've been out too freaking long. And, of course, Dawn, Audrey and Dawn is, like, a lot. They're, like, everybody's cool, but this is, this is Dawn's boo. Like, she loves to bark out of Audrey, like. They were, like, cool in high school. Like, Audrey was a majorette dancer. Her and Dawn was. Audrey was the co-captain. And Dawn was actually the captain of the uh, majorette team. They might do a performance one of these good episodes to kind of show y'all what they got. But that's how they became cool. And they've been locked in ever since. Like, so seriously, they've been inseparable. So, oh my god, please. Let me replace that. There we go. It ain't nothing to do that. But we about to go ahead and get them to sleep, you guys. And I'm actually about to bring y'all to another household. Um, this household is actually going to be where um, Mr. Uh, DeMarcus is currently located. Who keeps trying to talk to you? She shouldn't even be here. She's here? No, she's not here. So I'm a little confused on why she's even she the conversation a conversation is trying to be held i'm confused go ahead and go hold on because i gotta reset her like hold up y'all okay i reset her because it's saying that the nanny is here but i don't see the nanny where is she for y'all to be chatting with her oh focus camera she needs to go home because ain't no way that y'all should Ain't no way that she should still be here. Is is she sitting somewhere? Like, I dismissed her. I blatantly dismissed her. So, I don't understand why. Hold on, let me see. MC, hold on, because ain't no, y'all, ain't no way she's still here. Like, oh, well, I don't know. Oh, oh, I don't know. That's weird. Okay, well... Oh, dang, she got done with that play quick. Okay, well, let me get her to clean this up. And um, actually, yeah, we're about to go to another household. And this household is where DeMarcus is currently staying at, you guys. This is where he is currently living. So, as y'all can see in the uh, machinima, that's the household he is at. So, we're actually going to pay him a visit. So, I'm going to see you guys once we get there. Okay, y'all. So, we are at the other household, y'all. And this household is actually where DeMarcus is currently staying. So, let me introduce y'all to a sim again. Shout out to all my sim sisters but in particularly shout out to mother parking giselle sims because she actually had him on the gallery and i sweeped him up and he actually is from her series uh with tammy this is actually tammy's ex this is one of tammy's exes so 
Yeah, Tammy, let me tell you. I'm about to tell you the timeline. You listen to me. Tammy, Ricky, Demarcus, and Audrey, they all know each other. They've been around each other, okay? So they've been knowing each other since since high school. You got to follow the story, okay? So this is Ricky. I was call, I've been calling him Richard for a minute, y'all. But this is Ricky Gremlin, you guys. Um, again, he was, of course, made by Giselle Sims, and he does smoke cigarettes and stuff. This is his apartment. He is currently, uh, located in San Mashuno. I guess I'll give y'all a tour because, I mean, it ain't nothing too crazy. I just decorated the inside. Y'all know I'm trying to get my decorative back. Oh, I'm trying to get my decorative back on. So, when you go in the inside, uh, this is basically how it's looking. I don't know how to decorate for a man. So, let me know in the comments what y'all think about this apartment. Because, again, I don't know how to decorate for a guy. But, I'm still learning. I'm still learning how to decorate, period. But, this is his apartment. Um, this right here says I'm from the trenches. And, he does have, like, a bookcase right here. Um, that one says burn them. And, that's a picture of Nas. This is the couch, and they have some chairs right there. Um, he has a Swifter, and he has a PlayStation and a Swisher thing because he does smoke. Um, he do have some pictures right there. And then also, this is the kitchen, you guys. Again, I don't know how to decorate like that, talking about. But I can see y'all in the comments. Yes, you do. But <laughs> uh, the, he had cooked earlier for them for some something to eat, and it looks so good. Um, he has some wine and stuff up here. Nothing too crazy, y'all. Nothing too crazy. This says refrigerator. And then if you go up in here, ooh, which I did not do the bathroom. Please ignore, but this is the bathroom. I thought I put a wall up. Oh, I might have took it out. I took it out because I was CC shop. Yeah, I, when I was deleting CC, it must have deleted. So ignore this wall, please. Anyway, so this is going to be um ricky's room ricky's room is something simple i could have sworn i had some more stuff up in here but again um i actually i guess i wouldn't delete and cc i took it out um this is a tv y'all this is not a poster this is he watching tv um this is his little area right here with a bat and some tims um he got his hat he got drake on the wall and he got his clothes right there you know, something simple. I didn't want to make it too girly because I know me. And then this is his spare room. But this is actually the room where DeMarcus will be currently staying, you guys. Until further notice. It doesn't have no sheets or nothing on the bed. This is just where he will be. He did take that box off the bed. And this is the box he has fully opened to get some of his stuff out. Currently, right now, he is watching... Um, cat williams and he do have some couple boxes up in here and he does have his phone sitting right there because yeah like <laughs> that's what's going on but this is where demarcus is currently staying and y'all demarcus is like he's really trying to be in good hopes about this as well like it's something inside of him that really wants him to like really reach out to his um reach out to his girlfriend but, you know, he hasn't really, he, he don't know what to do. He honestly don't. And appreciate Ricky for, you know, extending the invite for him to come. So, Ricky is just like, hey, brother, you good? He like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm good. But at the same time, I'm not. I just really don't know how to feel about all of this. And Ricky's just like, man, you and me already had this talk. Like, you really bugging. Like, you, you blew this out of proportion. Like, you honestly think that Audrey would have sat there and talked bad about you. And DeMarcus like, man, you just really don't know. Like, I understand we at odds right now. But you just, you don't know. Like, it just felt like I was being attacked. And he was like, man, you wasn't being attacked. That girl legitimately care about you. Wish she does, y'all. Y'all know that that woman cares about her man, okay? What is going on? My game is tripping. Anyways, y'all know one thing about Audrey, she she love her man, okay? And again, everybody just feel as though he is just really taking this out of proportion, y'all. I just feel like it. Everybody feel like it because it's just like, it didn't have to get to this. It really didn't because, like, you're really tripping. Like, seriously, like, you didn't have to do all that. But, you know, Ricky is just here for more support. But, like, uh, y'all, let me, let me tell y'all a little secret. Let me tell y'all a little secret. Y'all ready for the secret? Okay. So, <laughs> the secret is... <clears throat> 
Ricky has been eyeing Miss Audrey for a minute. So y'all about to get some tea. So he's kind of, you know, he's he's making, he's trying to be slick about it. Like, oh, you know, Audrey wouldn't do this. Audrey wouldn't do that. But he also going to be putting bugs in DeMarcus' ear. Kind of like, you know, y'all see, he was he was nice at the beginning. Like, he was real nice up in the machinima part. But he low-key, he trying to get with Audrey, y'all. He, he want Audrey. He want Audrey real bad. <laughs> he want Audrey bad, y'all. I ain't even exaggerating. Like... They, like, you know, he appreciates, you know, DeMarcus, like, DeMarcus appreciates Ricky for letting him in because, as y'all know, if he, this is the, he had some places to go. He didn't want to go back to his mama house because him and his mama is not at odds. But I feel like that would have been an appropriate place for him to go. But he was just like, no, he didn't want to go because on top of that as well, they do have another child in the house. So, it's just like, that's a lot, you know? So, he's just not going over there. And then he would have went to Jared's house, but Jared is staying with Gemma, and yeah, <laughs> and he would have went to Bob's house, but Bob is in a relationship. Bob has a wife named Eliza, so he really didn't have any options to go, so he just called Ricky, and Ricky was just like, yeah, you could definitely come, but y'all, yeah, Ricky has other motives. I'm telling y'all, Ricky, Ricky has other motives, I'm telling you. So, he's just like, brother, you got to stop worrying about all of this. Like, you really, you know, I feel like you and her will really figure it out. He's like, man, I know. But he was like, it just really felt like it was just me and it was all of them. And so, he was like, what made you feel like that, though? He was like, man, it just seems like I couldn't find her in the bed. And all of a sudden, it's like I go outside and your little friends outside. Which, don't get me wrong, I got no problem with them, Ricky. That's not the problem. But it's just like it seems like I was being talked about. And he's like, man, I don't feel like they was. He like, nah, man, it just felt like they was. But... You know, Violet did reassure me, but I, I really didn't want to hear it because I felt like it was bull crap, bro. It was just nothing but bull crap because why are you sitting out here and you not in the bed with me? Like, we supposed to be sitting here trying to figure it out. He's like, man, I don't know about all that, but are y'all still going to do counseling? He's like, man, I don't know. I, I really want to do the counseling. I really want us to, you know, figure out what's going on because at the end of the day, that's my, that's, that's my baby. We, we plan on getting married. He like, oh, snap, you gonna propose? He like, yeah, man, I'm gonna propose to her. I don't want to lose Audrey, man. That's, that's my everything. That's my world. Like, I would give up everything just to make sure that she's straight. And so he like, man, all I know is you need to see what's going on with, with, with Keisha. He know Keisha. He went to school with Keisha too. So, he like, man, I'm telling you, I know that's not my baby. He like, man, you show that's not your baby? He like, man, I know I, I didn't fuck that girl a lot. I did. But I I didn't, I haven't did it with her after that. That was it. That was a wrap. Like, I made sure it was a wrap. Like, once I got with Audrey, it was it. That was simple. I didn't do nothing else. So, Ricky just like... All right, man, like, I, you know, I guess I'm going to have to believe you. I mean, deep down, he knows that. He knows that for sure. I promise you he do. What the? No, you can't come over here. Yes, I don't want to be disturbed. I mean, he knows that Um, that's probably not his baby. But then again, we would never know. if it is it his baby? Is it ain't his baby? Like, we don't, we don't know. We have no... Huh freaking idea we would never have a freaking idea we would never find out because it's like you know what happens here you feel me so i'm actually gonna get them to uh play fortnite with each other audrey where's she at I'm a bitch. girl not her in the neighborhood y'all Y'all, I, 
I don't know. Like, you could just tell. Like, they so connected with each other. For her to just really be out here on some stuff like this, like, she really, <laughs> she miss her man, but she don't know where he is. So, for her to be outside like this, I don't know. I'm just, you know, I'm just really confused. But, oh, they ain't here playing the game. Okay, yeah, they in here playing Fortnite. So, Demarcus is just like, so, what's up for the plans tonight? We're going out. And he just like, man, if you want to go out, I mean, we can go out tonight. I ain't tripping on it. He like, all right, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to invite the boys out too. Where's she going? Let me see. Let me let me fix her because she got a piss. And she should have been pissed before. <laughs> I, oh, my God. Let me see. Can I, um... I'm trying to help her out. Uh, cheat needs make happy. There we go. She should be walking fine. Okay, cool. Anyways, so he just like, I mean, what you trying to do? I mean, they do got a couple clubs out here. We can go and try. He was like, man, yeah, I just need to get out the house, man. This is, you know, this been a real roller coaster for me. He like, yeah, man, for sure, we could definitely do that. We could, all, we, you know, we go down to the club down in the hood. He was like, man, well, will we like the old hood where we used to stay? He like, man, yeah, we could definitely go down there. They got a couple of good places out here. We could just go and have a good time. He like, all right, man, we could definitely do that. I just need me a good drink. I'm going to hang out with my boys, and I just want to chill. He like, yeah, for sure, we could definitely do that. So, yeah, it's like three-something, so they definitely about to go out. And they about to, he about to get his mind off of some stuff, so... I'm actually going to see y'all because we're going to write Ricky, Jerry, and Bob. So, yeah, we're going out. So, I'm going to see you guys once the boys are outside. Okay, yeah, so the boys are outside, okay? They are outside. Uh, we are at this, like, lounge. It's real nice up in here. I do have some deco sims, like, kind of, like, mixed out all over the place, but... You get you get the drift of it. You get the jits of it. They are in here though. I want to say that I have some music up together in here. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, they got a DJ up in here. But other than that, they supposed to have some music playing. Like, where's the music? Hello. Oh, this is this like a fancy fancy place? Oh, look at Airy. <laughs> oh, they can't even get in, baby. Hold on, let me. <laughs> Let me let me go ahead and travel. I didn't know it was gonna be all that. I am so sorry. I know they about they cussing me out. Okay, my bad. They sitting out here looking confused. Bob, oh my god, Bob trying to figure out what's going on. Jerry, like, bro, you know we couldn't get in this place. He like, man, I didn't think it was gonna be all that. So I'm actually gonna pick them out of another place because I, I y'all. I keep saying that I need to come into this world and do stuff, and I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. But it's cool. I'm going to figure it out because, yeah, y'all know me. But, hmm, let me find somewhere for them to go, and I'm going to see y'all once we get there. Okay, y'all, so we at this club, y'all. This club is lit, okay? Um, I got it off the gallery. It is called the Nightwing or the Midnight something club. Y'all, this mug is lit, okay? So, the boys are out. Ricky is talking to everyone. He's just like, man, I haven't seen y'all in a minute. It's been a while since I seen you. Especially you, Bob. What's up? He like, man, what's going on? Like, I, you know, I'm, I'm hearing some things. Like, everything good? He like, man, we definitely need to talk because it's, it's wild, man. He like, bro, we just had a conversation, Demarcus. He like, man, I don't even want to talk about it. So, they about to come up in here and they about to have a good time. Uh, Demarcus, it says you work, but we're going to call in sick. I'm sorry. Yeah, he just like, yeah, I'm not going to go into work. I'm about to call in because we outside. He don't need to go to work like... Now that he over here, yeah, you don't sound sick. Come to work or you may not have a... Wow, that's crazy. So, they told him that he has to come to work. Uh, Let me see. We can take a vacation day. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can take a vacation day. So, this will be his vacation day. Let's see. Oh, look, they is going off. They like, what do you mean you taking a vacation day? They like, look, we about to take a vacation day. Period. He took a vacation day period okay so where what's what's going on okay 
We need some music up in here. Oh, the DJ is going. Let me see. Oh, no. We ain't going to have that. What? The festival out here? Oh, no. It must be somewhere else. Because I'm like, is it out here? So, here we go. Oh, snap. Okay. Okay. Okay, no. Nah. We ain't having it. Look, <laughs> We ain't having it. Hold on. Let me put some, um, let me put some speakers up because... I just feel like every time you go to a club, granted they have the DJ, but the DJ playing is whack music. I'm sorry. The music is giving very much nastiness. So I would prefer to put like uh, speakers up just to kind of give it some ump a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like have a little bit of ump playing or... Have a little bit of something going, you know, to keep the party bumping and jumping. So, yeah, let me make sure I put, like, speakers everywhere up in here, okay? Because I'm trying to have this club lit as a tick, you feel me? Ooh, I'm gonna get copyright. Okay, hold on, child, because the music is loud now. We on the R&B station. I'm definitely gonna put some of music up in here, okay? Because we trying to make sure it's crunky here. Ooh, period. Okay. Okay, period. We got Pretty Ricky playing over here. Come on, y'all. Y'all need to come and get it together. Like, what is going on? Let's dance. Like, what a party. Yeah, look at him. Like, yeah, let's go. Is it still playing? Okay, yeah. That one's still playing. Where's the Marcus? Oh, he at the bar, y'all. Okay. So, Bob is talking to him. He just like, bro, we just had a conversation not too long ago about this. And you said that you was going to talk to her. Now, all of a sudden, y'all in a bad place. He like, man, look, I don't know what happened between now and then, but it just seems like everything, you know, a whole bunch of stuff went south, man. He like, what do you mean it went south? He like, man, I'm telling you, a lot of stuff just went south and... I don't know how to feel about it. He like, you talking, but you not saying what you need to say. Like, what happened, Demarcus? He like, man, it's a lot, Bob. He like, look, I need you to tell me what's up. Like, you you talking around me, and I don't like that. He like, man, all right, so who is this? Not Philip. Ooh, Philip ain't got his hair. I must have took his hair out, honey, because Philip don't look like Philip, okay? So he just like, man, what you think happened? He's like, man, I don't know, but Demarcus been on some weird stuff, and then he called Ricky. Like, what made him call Ricky? Like, what's really going on? Bob, like, man, I don't know, but for him to call Ricky to go stay at Ricky's house, I don't know, that's just weird. Ricky haven't been in the picture in a minute. You feel me? You know how Ricky roll. He like, man, you know how Ricky roll. I don't know, man. So look at him. Oh, he's twerking. Okay, I might need to take this animation out because, baby, oh, my God. Ooh, not him finding a nausea. And, ooh, child. Baby, he is out here flirting. She looking at him like, mm, -mm. Ooh, not her embarrassed child. Ooh, child. Anyways, so look, y'all, Jared is trying to get to the bottom of this. Jared's just like, what's up with you, man? You call Ricky. You go over there at Ricky house. What happened? You not saying that. He like, all right, man, look, I'm going to tell you what happened. So me and Audrey, we not on good terms. She had her friends come over to the house. Well, quote, unquote, they came over to come talk to her about, you know, I guess to get her to, I guess what, to stay with me or something. And I go outside and she, you know, wrapped up under them. And you supposed to be in the bed with me. Like, no, nah, I don't like that. Ooh, not him see somebody cute. And he oh, said, sexy girl. Oh, my God. Y'all, he is trying so hard with these women. And they is not giving him the time of day. Child, I'm just like, ooh, okay. So, where did Bob and them go? Baby, Bob, ooh, Bob and them are gone. They like, nah, we not feeling this at all. We not feeling this one minute. 
So he just like, man, what them, you know, what them singers with? He was like, man, I don't know. I think they gone. He's like, man, that's crazy. You call them boys and they supposed to be here celebrating and cheering, you know, <laughs> turning up with you. He like celebrating. What we celebrating for? He like, man, it ain't a celebration, but it's just like, you know, we need to, I need to get you out the house. Like, look at the, you know, look at the women up in here. They look good, huh? And DeMarcus is just like, you know, I'm not really worried about that, but it's like, you know, yeah, they look pretty nice or whatever. Look, he in his own world, like, yeah, they look pretty nice or whatever, but, you know, it ain't that type of party. Yeah, he about to go get himself the drink because we stressed, okay? We stressed right now. Let's order a drink. Yeah, let's order a drink because the way he's talking about these ladies look good up in here, like, what do you, what do you mean? Like, what are you talking about? So, yeah, we definitely gonna get him to get him something to drink as well. Let me see. Is that music still playing? Okay, let me see. Let me see if another one plays. Because that was crazy that I heard Pretty Ricky booming through here, okay? Uh, let me see. Next song. What's this? What's this? Do I know that song? I don't know. I probably got to limit it to not dawn up in here. Oh, my God. Please. Okay, so we definitely going to control Dawn for sure. So she's out right now, and she sees DeMarcus, and she about to come talk to him. Like, she feel like it's due for her to talk to him. So she's about to be like, hey, DeMarcus. He about to, you know, be like, hey, Dawn. Because he like he likes Dawn. Dawn is cool. So, y'all, please ignore that right there. So, she's just like, look, I just want to come up here and tell you that what you stepped into the other day, it was nothing. I promise you, we wasn't outside talking about you. It was us really trying to get her together because we trying to figure out just like you are trying to figure out if that's your baby or not. He like, nah, I appreciate that, Dawn. I really do. Like, you really be looking out for my, you know, you be looking out for my baby. She like, yeah, but right now she's not in a, you know, she's not in a good space to talk to you. Like, seriously, she's not. So, it's just like, I don't know how long this is going to last, but I think you need to call Keisha and see if you can get up a turn, like, a, a, a test. You feel me? Like, y'all need to get that done because Audrey is feeling some type of way about all of this. He like, I know. Look at his face. He's like, man, I know. She's like, I'm serious. Like, I'm trying to look out for my best friend, and I know you have her best interest in heart, but you need to really fix this. Like, seriously, like... You have a lot to do. Like, you need to get it together. So, this is about to come over here and try to work his charm. He just like, hold on, who is this over here? So, he just like, is this Dawn from school? She's like, Ricky, oh my God, you're talking to Ricky, DeMarcus? He like, man, that's where I'm at right now. She's like, you at Ricky house? So, Dawn knows that ricky okay ricky okay this is what's going on so ricky used to like audrey in high school but you know it was more of a situation like okay um basically to make a long story short because i'm about to make a love story sound good audrey and demarcus didn't know each other in high school they did two separate things they did their own life so it was just like they really didn't know each other they didn't run with the same people but everybody kind of knew about everybody but audrey and demarcus didn't know each other like they never seen each other they never heard about each other so yeah but their friend group knew about each other. Like, all the friend group knew about each other. DeMarcus, DeMarcus, Ricky, um, Keisha, Bob, and Jared all went to the same school. Um, on the other hand, you have Dawn, you have Audrey, you have Kaysen, you have Sabrina, um you have violet and you have leslie they all went to the same school so these are two different schools they were very they were rival schools on top of that so they didn't know much of each other again demarcus when he was in school him and ricky played football 
and Dawn and Audrey, they were on the dancing team. Now, Sabrina, she played volleyball, so she was really much out the way. Sabrina played volleyball and track. Uh, Leslie, Leslie was the cheerleader. She's a cheerleader of the group, so she was a cheerleader. Um, actually, her and Violet were cheerleaders. Um, Violet was the captain, and I want to say Leslie was the co-captain, but something had happened and Leslie had to quit due to some craziness that happened in high school. Y'all, it was a lot, but she was the co-captain until something happened and she had to like be like first Lieutenant. So she was the co-captain for a little bit. And you know, Kaysen, he basically was like just the fan favorite. He was popular. So everybody just knew each other. I mean, they knew of, Kate, they knew of Demarcus, but Kaysen really didn't know him because, again, they all they all went to different. Well, they all it's like everything is like separated. It's like this school versus this school. Basically, they always met somehow in football, but they didn't know nothing of each other. But Dawn actually knows Ricky because Ricky was trying to one time they was playing the game and. Uh, you know, with the major red dancers, they go get their refreshments and stuff and they go two by twos. And this was like during halftime and Ricky came up to, um, Audrey and was trying to, you know, he was talking to her and everything. And Dawn just kind of looked at her and looked at him and she was like, no, I don't like him. She instantly was like, no, he's a, you know, he's a soul. And so Audrey was like, nah, I don't, you know, I'm not looking at him. I'm just here for conversation. And as they were walking away, like you can hear Ricky saying some sly stuff about Audrey. Like, oh, she didn't want me. Cause I bet she is so da 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 da. I heard rumors about her at child school and stuff. Talking to like other football players, like being weird. And she just wasn't feeling his vibe. But then on top of that, right after the game, you know, they be having their parties and stuff once the game is over. And she ran into them at a house party and he was up under some girl and basically they did the one two step and she just haven't looked at him ever since but she knows of ricky so she's just like you hanging out with him the market's like you know him and she's just oh, like look y'all look y'all look how she saw eyed him wait let me put the wait 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 wait, wait, wait. let's talk about it y'all look at how Dawn is side-eyeing this motherfucking man. Oh my God, it keeps doing that. Please, I need y'all to see this. You can tell, like, as soon as the markets acts like, you know him, look how her face instantly turned to him. She's just like, yeah, I know him. I know him real well. Like, I, I, I know him. And she's just like, ew. She don't know how to freaking feel like, uh, you're here. Like, uh, she's like, wait, you, you cool with him? He like, yeah, we went to school together. And so Dawn's just like, hmm, oh, okay. She's like, but yeah, I just want to come over here and tell you that, you know, I just wanted to let you know what's going on and, you know, just keep us updated at least, at least me and Kaysen, because we're the ones keeping your, your, you know, your girl safe, like, keeping her good and stuff and he just like oh so you cool with audrey huh so dawn just like this nigga act like i'm not cool with this girl you know i am like yeah i'm not about to keep worrying about this like oh, i'm about to look she like yeah i'm about to go on because before i have to cuss this man out i'm just gonna go ahead and walk away like seriously i don't have time for this so she's like demarcus just let me know okay so she's going on to mind her business and child yeah it is a lot of craziness going on so oh demarcus came upstairs now ricky on the other hand ricky kind of like oh snap i didn't know like he knows her you feel me so he didn't think that he was gonna bump into anybody that knew her but now that he didn't bump into dawn it's just like hmm i don't know how to feel about that like oh dang so that's the that's the homie she and she remember me like that's like you know i don't like that because you know how she remember me and i'm trying to you know get my sign on you feel me like i'm trying to plan some stuff but child we i don't know how that's going to work out you feel me like he 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 being weird about it but i thank god that dawn actually sat and talked to her 
you know, Don sat and talked to him so he can kind of know that, you know, everything is okay. Look, his mama. So, he not talking to his mama either. Like, him and his mama is not on good terms right now because of all of this. So, they're actually about to go home. They didn't have enough drinks. They just really, uh, they really ready to go home. So, I'm actually, what are you doing? No, what? Anyways, they about to go ahead and go to back to the house because they had a good time. It's like 12 o'clock in the morning. And by him seeing Dawn and having that talk, he feels a lot more better. He feels like, he feels very relieved because it's just like, now I know, you know, she not mad at me. Well, she mad at me, but, you know, this is something that could possibly work out. But now I just got to stay at this single house for a while. Like, dang, I wanted to go home, but it's like, now nah, I can't go home because I got to get this handled before I can even step foot back into my own home. But he knows that she's in good hands, and I'm glad he knows that. So I'm actually going to end it once he gets back to his uh temporary house okay y'all so that's actually gonna be the end of this episode um this episode hold on let me pull the camera back a little bit yeah this episode was a lot y'all um i really worked hard it's been a minute um i i don't know how to feel because first of all i just want to give a shout out to simply Give a shout out to Giselle. Give a shout out to Peace Out Posey. And definitely give a shout out to Tay, aka Rihanna Sims, and Shauna. Because if it wasn't for them to kind of like basically plot this up, this series would, would not be as good as it is. Like seriously, they have been like really implanting some stuff. And y'all, this series, we are going to be doing a season two. Y'all give it up because we are doing a season two. I'm excited because this episode and this season period is just really insane. It got a lot of plot twists that just popping up. And I really love this uh, series. I'm going to keep posting more of this series. I'm definitely going to be posting this, uh, some uh, two episodes of Bad Girls Club this week um as y'all know I don't have my job anymore I did quit my work from home job and I think I'm gonna go full-time content y'all I mean I, it was a big step and I really want to give y'all the content um that y'all deserve and I'm gonna be streaming more it's about to be a lot of things I feel like God is opening a door he has showed me what I needed to do and it's just like I need to take the necessary steps into you know walking into my season walking into my blessing but it's like now from here this is going to be my job this is going to be something that's going to be giving me money so now I have to work extra hard so I can not only you know pay bills but to entertain y'all you feel me so that's going to be it, you guys. I just had to share that because y'all know I have to be really transparent with y'all. I might get something probably later on, but I just I just had to let the cat out the bag. I had to be transparent. I had to let y'all know what's going on. I had to definitely, you know, express that so y'all can know what's happening behind the scenes and what's about to be happening from now on. But that's going to be it, you guys. Let me know how y'all feel about this episode in the comments, what y'all thoughts, how y'all feeling, uh, what y'all think. Uh, it's gonna happen next episode because next episode y'all is going to be crazy like it's going to be seriously crazy like me and my big like the big dogs not the little ones like that we have conjured up some stuff and we we, we helping one another out like y'all be on the lookout for just everybody's videos that's posting just be looking out because everybody's posting fire content but let me know what y'all think what's gonna happen in the next episode <laughs> but that's gonna be it you guys i love y'all so much to the death of me make sure y'all hit the like comment, subscribe button so you can be a part of the chunky family and also please 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 hit that notification button so you get what i am posting um i'm gonna start posting as much as i can um i'm definitely gonna do a double upload so y'all can um enjoy the content and also scream will be coming out this week too so i'm gonna see if i can post that as well like i'm trying to work my ass off okay i really am but i love y'all so much i love y'all so much and i'll see y'all in the next episode of brown sugar bay bye you guys